So once we are done with the implementation, we can try to run it once by keeping a breakpoint right here to see what's happening. A breakpoint here. Or you can just keep one right here. Okay. So this was the input that we had from which we will try to read it and then we will post this uh, push this particular information to the queue debug so right here I am in this initialization stage which is this particular thing step into step into step into so we are trying to go into this here we will try to read it okay so it is trying to add every value available in that particular config sheet and is trying to add the things in settings everywhere in constant sheet now similar thing will happen so let's get back and I'll just place a breakpoint right here so I'll click on continue I can click on continue now so it has reached this particular point okay so then I'll be going through this and then it will pass to this okay to show you what's happening inside this process let me put a breakpoint right here too okay so it has reached this point then step into and here if you can see step into and it is trying to push the data into that if I just go back here and click on grade queue view transactions here is the available transaction go check the details of that so it has pushed the data of first transaction which is Rajneesh and his father name is Suresh followed with followed by his particular details and the mail details to which this details has to be sent okay similarly if I just go back to this code and click on continue it has come back to this and now step into and now it should have added the second transaction right here okay go and check the details of it so this is the first one and this should be the second which is Sujish, right? Sujish over here. So similarly, it will try to add all these other values too. Just try to click on step into, see how it is coming from process to set transaction data. And because this is successful, it should go right here. Okay. And it is trying to do all the logging part over here. And from there, it is into incrementing the transaction number from 2 to 3 as you can see now it will go back to get transaction data status as we already know okay as we can see it's right into this so it will go over here it will fetch this third row from there okay so that is what we are trying to do here okay and then we are trying to go out of it okay now we are again into process transaction which is this particular state step into step into and here it will try to add the third thing go back here refresh it here is the third one available to us which is Shushan and his father's name is Shivaji with his particular details okay you can just click on continue 
continue and continue so because all the records from that particular excel all these five records have been added the process has ended as we can see in this particular output panel it has started it has processed one two three five details and it has closed all the applications because we don't have any applications or to kill our close we didn't mention any of them and it has ended if i just go back to here and refresh it we have all the applications right here available to us so that we can process it later so dispatcher part of ours is done next thing that we have to do is to implement the performer where we will write try to read the data from the queue which is this queue and we will start the data and reprocess into the desktop application we have and then send out the notification this was the dispatcher that we have implemented